So I had to install longer studs and the only ones that I could find in the proper size were a larger neural size. So I'm gonna show you how I ended up installing these. This is the original hole. We're looking at 0.451 inches. Um, and the original stud is 0.463. Now that means that we have 12,000 interference. So I'm gonna basically try to match that as close as possible. Now the proper way to do this would be to remove the hub, but this is the rear, well it's on a truck, but this rear I believe came from an 85 Trans Am. And in order to take this hub, I would have to uh, basically remove the whole spindle, take the rear differential cover off, take the clips off, take the salt, take it to a drill press. That sounds like a little too much work. So, this is what I came up with. First, I have a 2964 drill bit, which is basically almost perfect here. This is just gonna be used to, to clean up the whole rubber. Now you want to keep this as straight as possible. Um, so this barely touched the knurls. It just cleaned up the outside that was not basically affected by the original knurls. Now the second part, the next drill bit that I need in order to get to it is 15, 30 seconds. The problem with that is it's a little too big to handle. So what I came up with is this. This is a step drill bit. And what I'm gonna do is just use it to make a small chamfer. Just enough for the drill to index and not be able to wander around. Let's see. It looks like it's perfect. So now, now this part is not easy because it's still a hard piece. You want to make sure you keep it as straight as possible and, and slowly make your way in there. And now the last step, this is a an actual reamer, an adjustable reamer, and it is right here, 0.468. Well, now what we're going to do is put it in here, and this is done by hand. That allows you to make sure that you fine tune it without doing anything out to the hole. Your final dimensions should be perfectly in spec and now the hole is about 0 0.475 0 0.476 so that is close to the specs that ARP gives ARP says that the interference should be somewhere between six thousandths and sixteen thousandths in this case we are looking about fifteen thousandths fourteen thousandths so i think that's good now i just pulled this new bolt out of the freezer it's been in there for about 24 hours i measured the knurling before and it was um, 0.487 right here the knurling is Point four eight five. So we are good. I am gonna put this in here. Nice and clean. And okay, it goes right here. Okay. 
Okay, make sure that it's nice and straight on the back. And if you have everything clearance right, you don't need more than a regular ratchet. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Now one thing that I didn't mention, but before you put the bolt in here, make sure that there are no burrs or anything like that because you don't want to drag that in because that may, may make it a lot harder to pull. And you want to put as least amount of stress on this bolt as you're pulling it in.